Yo, what up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to cover AIM 120Ds using the EF24G as a part of the EF24G Masterclass. If you want to fire air-to-air -air missiles and kill bandits, then this is the class for you. Join me in the cockpit. We'll get started. Okay, as we covered in the AIM-54 video, arming this jet is a little bit different. If you do not know how to arm this jet so that you can shoot your weapons, please go view the AIM-54 video of the Masterclass. If you only watch the first two, three minutes of it to figure out how to arm the aircraft, that's plenty, but you're going to need to know how to do that in order to get started. So, here we go. Let's do that. We're going to arm the aircraft. We're going to be in air-to-air. -air. We're going to make sure we're in weapon. We're going to drop our visor. We should have bandits over here. Excellent. Let's go ahead and select our AIM-120Ds. Okay, AIM-120Ds can be fired in two ways. First, we can pull up the TSD. We can use the TSD to fire an AIM-120D. We'll make it soy. We'll come over here. We'll Auto slew the cursor engaged. over our target. We will shoot. click the button as we're holding our flight stick. We get a shoot cue. Our target's down here. The aircraft says shoot, we fire the, the missile, it says T, as soon as that goes M, that means it's pit bull and we do not need to maintain the lock. Right now we need to maintain the lock. M, now we can break the lock and our missile's active radar is running and it looks like they maybe got, nope, we hit them. I thought they might have, might have defeated it for a second. I thought they might have shot a missile at it to defeat it. Okay, so. Once it says M on the HUD, the missile is active. It's using its own radar. We don't have to support it, so we can click off of it. The TSD, look, if you're using AIM-120Ds, honestly, I recommend using the TSD. But if you want to, you can use the radar. Let's go ahead and kick on the radar. Now, keep in mind, once we turn on the radar, we show the world that we are shining this gigantic flashlight in the dark. So everybody can see us a whole lot easier too. So we're gonna go ahead and make the radar soy. Let's go ahead and turn into some of these bandits over here and we'll see if we can't lock one up with using the radar. You'll see he's 20 miles away and now we have a shoot cue. We can also click that button again and put him in a single target track. And now we can go ahead and shoot as well because we still have the shoot cue. So we'll shoot. T counts down to where the missile is going to go pit bull or be active on its own. Until it's active on its own, we do need to maintain this lock. Once it's active on its own, the aircraft will call pit bull and that T will change to an M and we can break lock and we no longer have to support our missile so we can get a little bit more defensive and start evading. So right now we'll wait. We should be going pit bull any second now. Pitbull. There we go. It's pit bull, so I can break this lock. I can clear all of this off the screen, and we should still splash this bandit unless they do defeat our missiles, which is a possibility. They can defeat missiles. Missiles are not a guaranteed kill. And that is something to keep in mind as you fire these weapons. So it looks like we do have a good splash. We got black smoke out there, and that's the AIM 120D using the EF 24G. If you like the video, you know what to do. Like the video. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel. Stick around. And as always, everybody, we'll see you in the next